Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another episode in the playthrough of the Return to the Circle of Dawn with Wendy Adams. We are up at the Return to the Clutches of Chaos scenario. So, uh, in the last scenario, we got defeated by getting swarmed by enemies. Well, nothing we could do about that. It was basically down to one <laughs> successful test of the uh, track shoes to not be bogged down with all all of those enemies but it is what it is so uh, we have to remember we took a mental trauma with uh, Wendy so we have one less sanity uh, for the upgrades for with the 2 XP I only just uh, added uh, a test of wheel level 2 back into the deck that was exiled in the last scenario so there is that so nothing uh, has changed in the deck basically so I won't put it up on the screen but it's in the video description if you're interested uh, this scenario we begin with the chariot tarot card uh, reversed so we will draw two less cards and we can draw cards at, uh, during our first turn so it's investigator begins the game with two fewer cards in their opening hand and cannot draw cards during the first turn so uh, that will slow us down a bit. Uh, on the contrary of doing the randomization of these uh, breaches, I won't be uh, shuffling the cards. I will be using an eight-sided die. So the locations are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will roll and add a breach there. Our objective is to get three breaches here to turn it into a, a clue three times. So we need three clues there. Also, if there are uh, three breaches and let's just double check. So when Doom would be placed on this agenda, place, uh, instead place one breach on a number of different random locations equal to, the, to one more than the number of investigators. So we do it every turn twice. Uh, when a breach would be placed on a location with three breaches, instead resolve an incursion at that location. So incursions also mean that when enough breach tokens have been placed on a single location an incursion occurs which adds two to that location and causes breaches to open in connecting locations the investigator's primary goal is in this scenario should be therefore to prevent incursions from happening by removing breaches from locations this can only be done using the abilities on each location so, uh, we, when we resolve incursions, first uh, we remove all breaches of that location, second play, we place one doom on that location, finally we place one breach on each connecting location. So this can cause chain reactions, so we have to keep in mind uh, where the breaches are happening and go get deal with those. So this is basically... Uh, Arkham Horror the card game uh, pandemic, so we'll see how that goes. But uh, that is all I have to say about the scenario. We have some new um, counter sets from the return to sets in place of the regular ones, but that is basically it. Uh, we had new locations for all of these locations, and I picked one at random, so I don't know which ones are the old ones or the new ones or anything. Uh, we didn't have any new locations for these two. And because uh, Annette Mason is possessed by evil, we have the where it all ends here. And uh, the Silver Twilight Lodge is shrouded in mystery. But that is all. So let's see how this goes with Wendy Adams. So let's get started. We will draw our opening hand. And remember, it's only three cards. We still can mulligan normally. But okay, well, that goes away so I am not liking the hand at all so I will mulligan it all hoping to get at least one asset to play uh, well, well we got uh, professor um, backstab and perception so not liking this starting hand and remember we can't draw any cards so we play, basically play the professor try to see what if we can do something about the uptown breach and that's basically our turn. So first action, let's just play uh, Professor William Webb. Uh, 
special cost three resources and we will actually use this for the charges and let's go see what the uptown has so uh, we have uptown for out of four uh, test agility two for each point you succeed by remove one for each from uptown to the current act so i think we'll do that so we have a good chance of succeeding in that last action we'll try that action so uh, four versus two And uh, it is a minus two, so for each point you fail by remove one breed from the current act. So we didn't succeed by any point, so we don't move that. So that is that turn. Uh, no enemies will go to upkeep. We draw a card, backstab, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, just double checking so um, we can draw cards during the first turn which is the player turn and the round at the end of the round I think we still drew that one card correct me if I'm wrong but I'll play like that we can just can't draw cards at the during our investigation turn uh, yeah so uh, first we uh, instead of adding Doom, we'll place Breaches. So we get the uh, one at number 7, which is here, unfortunately, and the second one is number 2. So that is that. We'll get an encounter card, and it is uh, Trespasser. Revelation test uh, will do. This test gets plus 1 difficulty for each non weakened stretcher in the threat area. If you fail, take 2 damage or 2 horror. Uh, we are just testing it uh, 4 versus 2. We don't have anything to boost it with. Minus 1, we are okay. So, first action, we'll try the action here again. Uh, 4 versus 2. Minus 1, now we are able to put this breach over here. I'll place it here so it's easier for me to remove them. Then, uh, second action, I think we'll head to River Town, or actually, we'll start making our way to the Silver Twilight Lodge, so we won't get too many breaches, so we'll head to French Hill. That is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we really would like to see those track shoes here. Uh, we'll throw a card, a test of wheel, and gain one of that is all uh, actions. Yeah, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add the breaches. First one goes to number one. Second one goes to number six, so French Hill. Okay, we are already here. First. Uh, we get the encounter card, of course, so Dispoiled, put Dispoiled into play in your threat area. Forced after you succeed at a skill test during your turn. Increase the difficulty of each subsequent test you perform this turn by one. Uh, test will power three if you succeed this card. Dis I'm just using the test of will to get that. Uh, testing uh, four versus uh, three for the test of will and X X is the total amount of doom and breaches on your current location so it's one minus one so we succeed and we don't lose the test of will and that didn't resolve uh, here we have to uh, choose and discard a card from your hand one breach from Fred's Hill to the current act plus one additional breach for its uh, willpower icon here so I'm just uh, discarding uh, backstab to move it this here. Second action, move to the Silver Twilight Lodge. And it is a four shot location, and there is actually one clue here. Free action, take one horror, move one breach from the Silver Twilight Lodge to the current agenda. So, 
So I think I will just uh, take a horror and take another horror. These two here. And free trigger action. I will use three of these to put a clue on a random location. Again, it is the same uh, arrangement for the numbers. So seven. So we get lucky. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Well, not that lucky because the shroud is four here. So we need some help to be able to get um, these clues. But there's a new clue there, so that is good. Last action. Um, We'll try to investigate, and I'm committing the perception. So, investigating 5 versus... Uh, 5 versus 4. It is not enough, so we'll fail. So, that is not good. Uh, we'll use Wendy's ability to try to draw again. So I'm discarding the backstab. We really, we really need to <laughs> get some clues, so... It is a zero, because there are zero uh, breaches of doom on the location, so we get one clue. We get uh, one card from Perception, so the Black Book, I think we need to play that next turn. But that is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw Acticophobia, and we gain one resource, so that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We resolve the breaches again, so first breach into number four, one, two, three, four, so up down, next one goes to the hangman's hill. Then we get an encounter card, which is uh, hunting night count. Well, I'll be damned. We need to get <laughs> get away from this uh, enemy <laughs> as as fast as possible. Well, we'll see how that goes. Well, first action we will evade. Uh, I'm evading four versus uh, three. Oh yeah. <laughs> We're in trouble because we have this one, but I think we need to evade, get rid of this uh, guy, and... Uh, okay, well, we'll see. So, hopefully we won't uh, fail, because we're taking a lot of horror then. Okay, so... So, it's a minus four. Uh, we fail, <laughs> we take one horror. Uh, second try. That uh, weakness is really, really hurting us. So, mm, zero. So we managed to evade. And I think we won't risk it, so I'll just leave. Uh, so we get away from this guy. That is our whole turn. Uh, no enemy action, we'll go to upkeep. We get Faustian Bargain. We get one resource. So, this guy also ready. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We resolve the breaches again. So first one, number seven, we just left there. And uh, second one, number six, so... Uh, actually, uh, French Hill... Uh, yeah, we can again just play... Uh, um, I think we don't need the Faustian Bargain, so let's see what the encounter card is. So, Demonic Piping Search, so this just comes into play. Searches. Chaos Manifest Test, Willpower 3, place one breach on X different random location where X is the amount of which you failed by. Uh, I'm testing 4 versus 3. Minus 2, uh, we fail, <laughs> we get an horror. Okay, well, we really need to get rid of this one. Uh, and we place one breed somewhere, which is number three. One, two, three. Okay. This is getting out of hand fast. Uh, first action, uh, first two actions. We'll just discard this. And uh, I think we have to run. So I move here so we don't get stuck with the hunting knight count. No, uh, well, the hunting knight 
knight count hunts. Uh, nothing else happens. We go to upkeep. We draw alter fate and gain one resource. So alter fate actually is pretty good. We can just get rid of this one, so the demonic pipings won't uh, trigger ever. But we'll see if we need to use that for that. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom. Uh, we'll resolve the breaches. Uh, number three. Oh no. I think we need to get to Hangman's Hill fast. And number eight. So South Church. The other one. Encounter card is Troll and Trouble. Uh, uh, toil and Trouble Peril. Uh, you must either choose one to resolve the revelation ability of the topmost power treasure in the encounter discard pile, resolve an incursion and provocation. Uh, we have we have a power, so I'll, I'll resolve the power. So we'll uh, resolve the chaos manifest. So we'll power three, four versus three. So let's see what happens. Uh, minus two for each point you fail by. Remove one breach from the current act, so we lose one breach. Then uh, we fail by one, so we'll uh, do one breach action. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad, but it slows us down a bit. Uh, first action, we'll play the Black Book. Second action, we will uh, move. Last action, we'll move. So, Hangman's Hill, a two shroud. Who search the encounter deck and discard pile for which enemy and droid then all breeds from hangman seal to the current act shuffle the encounter deck? So that is actually good because we can get an easy witch here, uh, get all of the breaches from here uh, next turn. Hopefully, if we get one breach here, then that plan is gone, but we'll see. Hunt uh, enemy face that guy hunts here. We get a card, track shoes, really good. Gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Let's uh, resolve the breaches. So, first, uh, number five it goes one, two, three, four, five. And number two. So, luckily, we didn't get a breach here. Encounter card is uh, Trespasser, will put two. This test gets plus one difficult for each non mixed treasury in your threat area zero. So we get uh, to test five versus two. Auto fail. I will discard this to draw again. It is <laughs> minus three. Well, we still succeed by five versus two, and we get. Uh, we have five because we have the black book in play. So uh, at least we didn't get any damage from that. First action will play track shoes. Second action will uh, search the deck for a witch. Shuffle the deck. We'll just take the Coven Initiate, it's the easiest of them all. Then it spawns here, engages us, and last action we will just evade. So uh, we are evading 5 versus 2. Elder sign, 0, so we succeed. So this witch is evaded. Enemy face, uh, this guy hunts here. Oh yeah, uh, we, we got all of these here. So let's resolve that. And I will use them immediately to generate the uh, clue. Number five, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So that is actually a pretty good location. Post route to get the clue. And enemy face that hunted their upkeep. This uh, enemy readies, engages us. And we draw a card, another Alder Fate, we gain the source. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add the breaches again, so first one is number two. <laughs> we need to get to Rivertown fast, uh, second one is number five. 
also we need to get to the south side fast. Uh, encounter card uh, on wings of despair. So that actually would like to fail this so we get to uh, south side three. Uh, we are testing five versus four, so let's see if we can fail this. <laughs> Minus two. Uh, we don't have any breaches to remove, and we fail, so we take uh, one damage and one horror. Oh, uh, that that is. I think we are not using this professor at all this game. So just uh, put all of it on here. So the professor is dead. We'll move to the central location. Uh, we'll discard the top three cards of the encounter deck and move one priest uh, from south side to the current deck. Choose uh, power that was discarded. Resolve it. Curse. Curse. Terror. Power terror. So, ah. Demonic piping triggers. So. Then, uh, so only the revelation. Yeah, so, okay, we don't search it. But I think at this point I'll fast play uh, Alter Fate to discard one of these. So, even if the ter third one comes, we won't get the Piper in play. Uh, we move one breeze from here to here. We'll do that again. One, two, one. Uh, not the power. Not the power. Not the power. So uh, these are free actions, so and not limited by any means. So we'll do that again. Uh, power each hex, so we get the power. Uh, testing five versus three. These are minus one, so we succeed. Nothing happens. Get this here, and we'll just make another clue somewhere. Number three, one, two, three. Okay, well, that is annoying that it went there. First action, <laughs> so a pretty long first uh, reaction turn. So. We will investigate uh, 4 versus 1 to get the clue from here. It is a minus 1, so we grab the clue. Second action, we'll move to River Town. It is a 3 shot location. Uh, zero clues, choose and discard a card from your hand. Move one bridge from the River Town to the current axe. Plus one additional bridge for each. For uh, icon on that. Okay, well. Uh, last action, we'll do that. So we'll discard this. So the wild counts as a willpower. So our intellect icon, I mean. So we we'll get two breaches here. And uh, that is our turn. Uh, no enemy. Well, this enemy hunts. I hunt here. And this enemy actually is over here because we left it there when we went from here to here. So, uh, that is uh, that turn, we'll draw a card, in one resource, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We'll do the breaches again, so, first one, number one, uh, merchant district, and second one is number five, so again, south side. Encounter card is, uh, wise and villainy, I'll put it on, well, that's wise and villainy to a non-permanent asset you control. Uh, limit one per asset. When the encounter deck runs out of cards, discard attach assets force. When attach asset leaves play, test will part three. If you fail, attach this to another. So I think I'm putting it on Traxus because we need the willpower and intellect boost more, I think. Uh, first action, we will just uh, get rid of this one. To uh, get this here and use this to generate a clue. We'll see where it goes. Uh, number four it is over here. So 
So let's see, we want to second action on yeah. Uh, let's just go here and try to get that through. So uh, I'll use the track shoes to try and move again. Uh, five versus three. Minus two. Uh, we get to move again. Last action we'll try to investigate four versus three. Uh, four versus four actually. So we need to get a bit lucky with this uh, test. So it's a minus one. Uh, we fail, but nothing happens. So enemy face this enemy hunts here. Uh, upkeep, we draw a card. It is uh, breaking and entering and get hunt. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Get the breaches. Uh, first one, number three. And second one, number six. So here. Encounter card is. Uh, uh, primordial gateway uh, revelation at that's a random location place breaches on the attached location until there are exactly three breaches on it three the attached location as if it's printed text box for a blank except for trades test uh, intellect or will or close the gate if you succeed discard primordial gateway uh, random location is number six so it comes into play Differential, so we add one breach there. We can't get rid of those breaches before until we get rid of that. So, uh, first action we will play uh, breaking and entering. Uh, we are investigating uh, nine versus four minus two. We'll grab the clue. Uh, I think we want to get those two clues so that we have a chance to be actually beating the uh, Annette Mason once uh, she is spawned. So, uh, yeah, I'll move. I'll just forget about this location. I'll use the tractors to move again. Uh, 5 versus 3, 0, we'll move over here, we'll uh, move again, just normally, that is our turn. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, let's see, we'll, we'll do the discard, so 1, 2, 3, it is a power. So that comes into play, but it doesn't search, it's just the revelation effect, and uh, it doesn't trigger because the one, the last one is already in the discard, so that is good. We'll get this breach over here, and then we'll move here. So that is that turn. Enemy actions, this uh, enemy hunts here. Upkeep, we draw a card. Uh, un unexpected curries, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We do the breaches, first one uh, over at Hangman's Hill, second one uh, south side, encounter card is another hunting night gun. So first action will evade. Uh, there is one breach, so there are five versus, so uh, minus two is okay. And it is a minus two, so we evade. So just marking this enemy first. So it's here. Uh, second action will investigate and investigating. I'll use the unexpected courage. So oh yeah, uh, investigating six versus four. So minus two is good. It is a minus two, uh, so we get the clue. Last action. Uh, we'll move over here. So this enemy engages us. That is not good. 
but it is what it is. Uh, enemy face, this enemy hunts here. This uh, at the upkeep, this guy readies. Tractors have been ready. We draw a card, all keyring, and gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We'll resolve the breaches again. So, oh yeah, um, I think the witch hit us. I forgot to place that, so let's correct that. Uh, yes, so. Oh yeah, uh, we should have discarded two cards until now. When this switch came into play, but uh, a bit too hard to rewind there otherwise. Okay, uh, so the breaches are number five here and uh, number eight. So we are still good. Let's see if we are good in a moment. And count card is. Uh, it is on Hallowed Land. Just uh, agility 5 for each point you fail by discarding some part of the encounter deck. If the curse judge is discarded by this effect, deal one direct 4 to your investigator and each of your ally assets. So, um, we are pretty near dead in uh, horror, but we'll see. So, uh, 5 versus 5, it is a minus 1, so we have to discard one card. And it is a curse, so. We take the horror. So we are one away from getting defeated. Uh, first action, uh, we'll yeah, we'll uh, evade five versus three. This uh, minus two, so we uh, are able to evade. Which is evaded. Second action will investigate 4 versus 2. I'll commit this to 5 versus 2. 0. We have 5 clues. Uh, okay, the trouble is that these night guns will hunt us down even with the tractions. Dead. We'll at least spawn on it here. Okay, so we had. Uh, oh, yeah, I, I should have immediately advanced. So this should have happened earlier. Uh, well, that's a mistake. Well, it is what it is. Uh, we should have had Annette in play a bit earlier. But it is what it is, so Annette is born now. And Annette has minus two health for each uh, clue controlled by the investigator. Well, it is. Well, we'll try to evade Annette. Just don't want to die uh, fighting her. We actually fail, so alert, we are dead. We get one horror e damage, and Annette still has um, uh, two health left. So we were unable to defeat Annette Mason. Let's see. So uh, the resolution is: if no resolution was reached, each investigator resigned or was defeated. Uh, if an animation is possessed by evil, proceed to resolution 3. Resolution 3. In your camper lock record Doom draws even closer. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory value of X score uh, cars in the victory display. So it's it's only one. <laughs> it's a uh, uh, silver twilight lodge. Uh, interlude for twist of fate. So uh, there is an addition to the twist of fate in the booklet, so I'll uh, see that. Uh, just a moment. The following bullet points are added to the list of conditions if you 
investigator arrested Annette now. If Annette told you the spell of old, if the investigator arrested Sanford, no. If the investigators assumed control of Silver Cloud Cosmic, so for those. So, uh, this uh, twist of fate one. The path points before you next to this record the number of telemons based on tradition. So then proceed to twist of fate two. Uh, I accepted my fate one telemark. I just count it with these. Then I. We didn't ask Annette for assistance. We didn't ask Sanford for an assistance. Uh, we have uh, uh, three to five mementos, if I'm correct. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five mementos listed under mementos. So uh, for each evidence you have uncovered, you underneath the path to take a little better, but there is still one. One tally mark. Second tally mark. Uh, we don't have six or more mementos, unfortunately. We have up the black book. We get one more. Doom draws even closer. We get two tally marks for that. And piece of fate two. Love text and to be continued in the. Return to the before the Black Throne. So that was uh, in the clutches of chaos. This is a really tough scenario in true solo, and I made a big mistake. I uh, should have spawned Annette immediately when I got three uh, clues. So yeah, well, it didn't uh, change the ending. We got defeated, and we have two mental trauma with Wendy, and we have one experience which. Probably I, I'll use it for something, but I don't know what. I'll see and hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.